Hello everyone, the purpose of today's conversation is to state the case, the purpose, for you fitting stretching into your life. Now we often use the term stretching, we're talking about moving outside your comfort zone and dealing with anything in life. Stretch a little, make it happen, but I'm actually going to speak specifically about actual stretching. You know that kind of stretching we do before and after a workout in the videos. You know there's the ballistic stretching, those moving stretches to bring blood flow to the muscles to prevent injury. That's for before a workout. At the end of a workout, you do static stretching, where you hold a stretch between 10 and 60 seconds. I usually do 10 because of the time we have available in a 20 minute workout, but the goal is really 30 to 60 seconds. And the idea in each stretch, before I state the case of why you should stretch, is to lean in. And I don't mean just metaphorically, but like really, literally lean in. Just really allow your body to sink into a stretch. And as you exhale is when you deepen it, when you inhale is when you hold it. So let me give you an example. Say I'm doing a neck stretch and I pull my ear to shoulder to create more space in my neck to release some of that tension we carry in our neck. Inhale, I hold it in the place where it's at. Exhale, I drop a little deeper. Inhale, I hold it a little bit longer. Exhale, I drop deeper. And the whole notion behind that is we tend to like fight flight, tense everything up when we're feeling nervous or we feel like we don't have more range of motion. And as you exhale, it kind of softens the muscle, softens the mind. Everything works in sync with one another to progress that stretch into even more depth. And as we bring more depth and pliability, relaxation in those muscles, it gets better. Here are your benefits of stretching. Better range of motion. Um, you kind of lubricate those joints. You soften. You perform better. Your muscles perform better when they're more stretched out. It improves your posture, improved posture with as a direct result of stretching, alleviates back pain. If you stretch your hips, it alleviates lower back pain. Going back to that reference I made from exercise during injury, the last video, where everything's connected. So for stretching and we're working with those muscles, we create space so that when we do our exercise, the performance is elevated. I don't mean just like that you can like move faster or jump quicker. I mean like if you're doing a bicep curl and you've built you're building strength, let's say, in your bicep. And the muscles around and throughout the bicep, there's internal, external, center. I won't get into the technical terms, but if there's more pliability, if you've learned how to properly use your muscles and you create more space so that the joints have more range of motion, then you're gonna build that muscle mass more efficiently. So it's really like a contributor to that long-term strength gain. Also, when you stretch your muscles, like what we talked about during stress management, then it's actually a signal that it's almost like built in. So when you're fight flight and you tend to tense up, like I always tense up my jaw and my neck when I'm stretched, when I'm stressed. But then if I'm stretching it regularly, it goes into like almost like autopilot. The body softens instead of tensing up, thus creating a consistent relief through the muscles. So you feel a sense of calm, a looseness. If you tend to have chronic pain in your physical body and you don't have a formal ailment, any sort of autoimmune or physical difficulties, if you're stretching regularly, then you're less likely to have that chronic pain. So what is the actual prescription? You ask, like, okay, fine. You're telling me to stretch. You're telling me why stretching is important. Important. You're telling me the different ways you can stretch. Now, how do you fit it in? Now, I can't build an extra hour in our day, and I certainly wish I could because we all need it an hour or two or three. But if you wake up in the morning before you even get out of bed, we're talking 30 to 60 extra seconds. Maybe even if you set your alarm a minute earlier, you do that kind of figure four stretch where you cross one leg over the other laying down, you reach your arm through the window, uh, window of your leg, some way to demonstrate it, and you pull those folded knees to your chest. What that does is before you even leave your bed, you loosen up your hips. And if your hips are loose, then throughout the day, your back softens, your stride, your range of motion in your lower body. You take longer strides instead of short steps that often tense up your knees or ankles. And I have one client where she always says that the back of her knees feel like stiff. It's likely because she tenses up. She weight bears. She puts all of her weight into the front of her foot so that, you know, the short strides. But if you, if you loosen everything up in the beginning, it's a signal to the rest of the body. I don't always have to tighten. And thus you release the stress and you create more safety in your muscles. They get used differently instead of kind of firming up with every action or activity. Other stretches, say you have a desk job. 
or you find yourself more sedentary than you'd like to be. Doing some of these nice shoulder rolls, drop down and up, even just lifting and dropping, and you might be doing it with me right now, and I hope you are, you'll say to yourself, oh wow, my traps, my rhomboids, my mid-back, that thoracic region, it's so tight and I didn't even realize it until I started creating movement in it. You don't always have to get that full work at it. Sometimes it's just about loosening. Some of these kind of stretches across one way, across the other. Do you like my bracelet? It says, just breathe. It's a great reminder. And I mean, obviously we naturally breathe for survival, but taking those moments of those deep cleansing belly breaths, like we talked about in stress management, that aids in the stretching because if you're loosening up your muscles and your mind and your breath, everything naturally flows. It sounds really hippy dippy out there, but it genuinely impacts your activity level. So we've talked about some of the shoulder loosening, the upper body, the neck release, the opening your chest. Now this looks a little funny if you're around people, but if you just work and pinch your shoulder blades together, come in and out in that proud chest it's called, then you inevitably loosen up your mid back. It corrects that posture. You kind of envision like you're stacking vertebrae on top of one another. So then we don't do this, that curvature of the spine you're preventing that these are all forms of stretching torso twists left and right there was a round of the mind body 20 where where we gave you where i gave you stretches throughout the day and it was all those simple stretches but we never do them because we're too busy and we don't press pause so that torso twisting those all you have to do is cross your legs with an open knee and hinge your heart over your shin those kind of stretches release your hips point and flex your foot. So going rolling over the front of your foot, I'm doing it right now, pushing my feet back and forth. Then are those internal stretches, which is pushing your belly out, drawing it inward, that core opening and closing. Also, you can do kind of Kegel stretches, which is really a strengthening for your pelvic floor. Countless women, countless women have pelvic floor dysfunction, and they sometimes don't learn about it until much later on. They learn about prolapse and complexities in that pelvic floor that sometimes require surgery. What I always try to say is do it now. Long-term health is contingent on that shorter term, making those small changes throughout your everyday. Stretching for purpose is recognizing it's a higher calling. It's more than just stretching to feel good or you know to end a workout. Stretching for purpose is recognizing that if we don't do it, everything could atrophy. Our muscles could tighten up, and I'm not giving you this cautionary tale to scare you or warn you, but it is to kind of plant those seeds of mindfulness around movement through your body being for purpose. So I hope that this message about why you should do it, how you should do it, when you should do it, and what it ensures gets you moving. And I mean moving lightly, zero to 30 seconds. If you have little time, 30 to 60 seconds per stretch. If you have more time available to you to make it happen. Thank you for listening.